After it was officially announced that Shakur Stevenson will be part of the Arthur Bader Biev vs. Dimitri Bivol undercard, fans were initially hopeful that it will be at least against William Zapata. After all, everyone at this point who's been following the news already knows that a fight with Tank Davis is something that won't happen anytime soon. Pro Box TV host and former boxer turned sports commentator Pauli Malinaji expressed his outright disappointment regarding this news. Malinaji, just like the rest of the boxing community, is seriously questioning as to how Cordina, who just got knocked out during his last fight and is ranked number 13 in the division by the WBC, is now getting a title fight. Like, what the hell? The Pro Box TV panel expressed their utmost disappointment, and they're basically saying that boxing is once again bending the rules and doing favors and playing politics. But just when everyone thought they were gonna grill Shakur, shade was thrown to Tank Davis. The Pro Box TV crew said that they hope Tank Davis, and I quote, doesn't become the new Canelo Alvarez, and nope, that is not a compliment in this context. This comment leans on the accusation that Gervonta Davis is being a cherry picker, and that the reason why Tank vs Shakur never came to be was because of Tank's refusal to engage and show interest in making the fight happen. Happen. Both Tank Davis and Shakur Stevenson have blamed each other for the fight not happening. Tank's camp is saying that Shakur's camp is asking a huge amount of money, since according to his team, Shakur is also a quote-unquote superstar and a champion. Tank obviously refused because in his defense, Shakur can't sell a dollar for a dime. And on top of that, his last fight was free to watch on TV and wasn't even on pay-per-view, not to mention his own hometown fans walking out on him. As for Shakur's side of the story, he basically said somewhere along the lines of Tank not even making an offer in the first place. Basically, Tank left him on red and ghosted him. As for Cepeda not fighting, well, according to ESPN, Cepeda's wife is due to give birth during those dates, and his family matters more than fighting Shakur Stevenson. What about you? How do you feel about Shakur versus Cordina? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, please don't forget to click that like and subscribe button for more quick talks.